Hey, Nick, I'm tough way to lose, I'm sure, but what do you make of this game getting a point out of it like that when it, in the dying seconds? Does that make it any, does that make that point feel sweeter or does it make the two points you lost hurt even more? I mean, I think with what we're up against, I think it makes it even, you know, it's a huge point. It might yeah. come to, to help us down the stretch here. So <clears throat> anytime you can get points, you're going to take them. I mean, obviously we want two and OT can go any way, but uh, I'm really proud of the guys for not getting deflated when they scored that goal late and finding a way to, to jam one home with the extra guy, and uh, that was huge. I think most people are starting to realize this is a really good Carolina team, and I'm wondering what you feel like you you learned about your group in, over this four-game stretch. Well, I just I think we learned how, how we can play to have success against a really good team. You know, we, we respect Carolina and what they can bring, um, and we saw what we do well uh, against a good team and, and how it can give them fits, and... Uh, we just have to do that more consistently. And, you know, they're they're a good team, and they're going to make it hard on you. But I think that's one of the better checking teams in the league. And if we can play like that against them, it encourages me for the teams, the other teams we face. I mean, that's that's as good as you're going to see in the NHL and, and checking and and the way they play and, and how quick they are and and they, you know they they really clog it up. So uh, you know we can we can take some some notes away from that and and put it towards our next games and and know that we're we're on the right track here. You know, we really are, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a really good team that we played four times in a row and, and got a lot of points off of, and yeah, we need more. Uh, I get that, but, you know, we got an opportunity here coming up with back-to-backs that we have a, another chance to crack at it. Nick, scary thing there late in the second, uh, the elbow to the to the head. Did the lights go out there, or what were you going No, through? just something I've been dealing with. It's just one of those things. It sucks. I mean, elbow to the head, can you do? Next, we'll go to Jacob Myers. Go ahead, Jacob. Nick, that second period there, I think you guys had five or six odd man rushes, maybe in the first three or four minutes. Compared to the night before, I, I know you guys score there. You probably would like not to give up the tying goal and within a minute, but was that energy that you saw in the second period and certainly late in this game was that kind of nice to see return especially after the night before absolutely uh, we talked about it just our compete and you know what we're trying to accomplish here and it's just you know regardless of results there's just a standard that we have to play at and look what happens when we get to that standard look at the odd man rushes we create look at how good we can be and how dangerous we can be and, and you know the more the more looks you get you know in that setting you're going to score you know, and, and that's what we have to realize that it's it's constant. It's as, as you do it over and over again, it's repetitive. And if you can get to those looks and, and opportunities the way we did tonight on a more consistent basis, I mean, we're going to have success. Those pucks are going to go in and that's how we're going to get on a roll. So I hope guys understand the confidence you can get from playing that way against a really good team and giving ourselves some really good looks on two on ones and odd man rushes, three on twos and and what it took to get that and, and put it into our next games. What, what causes those odd man rushes, not just kind of breakdowns with stuff, but guys looking for their opportunity, looking to attack? Is that what you kind of credit to, I guess, that stretch of play there? That and, and just executing. I mean, a lot of our odd man rushes are because we executed the right plays out of our end, you know, and I think we're getting a lot better at that. You know, that's an improvement that I've seen drastically from our defensemen to our forwards being in the right spots to allow our defensemen to play fast. and. Uh, and we can catch teams. We have enough speed, and we can be dangerous. Uh, when we get those pucks by guys, we have a lot of speed coming up the ice, and uh, we showed that tonight, especially with you know the guys like Jonesy and Z tramping up. They're usually leading it sometimes when they're out there. So uh, that's the way we play to have success, and it was, it was encouraging to see a lot of that tonight. Next, we'll go to Dave Metzl. Go ahead, Metzi. Thanks, Todd. Nick, to that point, it, it seemed like some of the younger guys were benefiting from that style of play. Robinson had a lot of opportunities. Stenland was creating a lot were they sort of feeding off what was going on there a little bit well I think it just plays into their game you know their style of game Robbie is a straight ahead guy and when he can get a chance to chase pucks down I mean there's not a lot of people that can catch him that one play I mean he comes out of nowhere and gets a breakaway for himself so uh it just it's conducive to who we are and and, and our personnel you know we're, we're a direct straight ahead team and when we play like that we are really dangerous and we start to create opportunities and I think the confidence starts to grow from there so for those guys now they're touching the puck. Now they're making plays, and that's all you want to do as players and as forwards is make plays. And when you when you play that direct and that straight ahead and that quick, uh, it gives those guys an opportunity to. And uh, you know you saw them all all around it tonight. 
And the million dollar question is, how do you bottle it and take it with you to Detroit, right? I mean, that's that's what you want to do is replicate that kind of effort. Yeah, and I'm actually excited to get on the road, you know, it's you know, especially this long one. This is this is where you get together with the guys and have some opportunities, a little bit longer trips and uh, a little bit, you know, let's be honest, a little bit nicer weather to be able to be outside and, and be around each other. So I'm looking forward to that. And I think it comes at the right time where, you know, we got to keep pushing and you can get on on the road and, and band together. And sometimes these these ones hit at the right time. And I think with the way we played at home here and, and especially this past game, uh, I'm looking forward to bringing that into Detroit and, uh, and getting on a roll here.